Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. In this series I like to show you cool things to do with command blocks that you can't normally do in Minecraft survival. And within this video I'm going to show you something pretty cool that I think you will like. Now this is actually in Minecraft vanilla, so no mods whatsoever, and only using free commands or free command blocks in order to get this to work. But basically, I made a nice little system here that is TNT arrows in Minecraft, or a TNT bow. And it works like this, basically, as soon as the arrow actually comes in contact with any block, it will actually cause a TNT explosion or summon a TNT explosion. And it works on literally any block, so I could do it on this tree right here, as you can see, or I could even mine some ore up if I wanted. I can just uh, do it against this coal right here and actually mine up some coal. The only time it doesn't work is when you actually fire an arrow at an entity. So if I fire an arrow at this horse right here, you can see that it didn't actually do anything, but um, uh, that's because it didn't actually come in contact with the ground or a block. Now, if you want to see more Minecraft content like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything because I do lots of other different content apart from this. And I'm going to show you how I actually did this system. now. This is more useful for the TNT arrow as a whole because um, you shouldn't be able to use this bow in survival Minecraft and there is a reason for that that I'm going to get into in just a moment here. But um, basically I managed to get this system to work with a particular bow. So you'll notice I have two bows here. One's called TNT bow and the other one's a normal bow. So you might be wondering how do I separate the two bows out? Because if I use this normal bow, it doesn't do anything. As you can see, it just actually is a normal bow. But when I use the TNT bow, it actually works. And I'm gonna show you how I separated the two bows out. Now, what we need to do in order to get this system to work is we need to make sure that we can track if an arrow is in the ground, which we can do with command blocks. So what we can actually do is we can actually detect if an arrow is actually in the ground because each arrow that you fire in the Minecraft world actually has a data tag on it that tells the game if it's in a block or the ground, which is what we're going to use to actually detect. Now, there's a bit more that we actually have to do for this. Now, in order to get this system to work, what we need to do is we need to detect if an arrow is in the ground and then summon a TNT explosion at that arrow and then remove the arrow. But, it gets a bit more complicated if we want to only allow certain like arrows to be targeted by the TNT. Now that's why I have this special bow right here. This is actually an enchanted bow with level 99 power, I believe. So it's a very strong bow, something that you would, should never have in a normal Minecraft survival game. And that is why I'll, I would be able to kill literally any mob that I wanted. But basically, when you actually fire an arrow into the ground, the arrow also retains a damage value. So how much damage the arrow would actually do to a entity or a player. So if I shoot um, with a normal bow and the special bow, the damage values will be different. So that's how we can distinguish between the two bows. So in this case, I believe if I shoot with this bow, I believe the damage value is 52, I believe, 52. And we're going to use that within this sort of uh, system with the TNT bow. So 
that is what we're going to do. And I'm going to get rid of these command blocks so that we can actually do it ourselves. So what we're going to do here is the first command block I'm going to write is to give us this special bow, okay? And basically it's going to be a bow with power level 99 as an enchantment, but also I've hidden the enchantment as well as you can see on this item. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. So if you actually want to get a command block, all you need to do is slash give your name and then Minecraft colon command block. That is how you can get a command block in creative mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to do slash give and then our name and then Minecraft colon bow so that we're giving ourselves a bow. We are then going to provide some data tags so that we can actually do the enchantment. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the enchantments. So we do we set up the enchantments like this. So with some square brackets and what we actually do here is we actually provide a enchantment tag. So we do ID colon and then power like so. And then we do a level colon 99. So that is giving a level 99 power enchantment to this bow. Now, in order to hide the enchantment, what I do is hide flags one. If you actually put that as a data tag for the item, the enchantment will not show on the item. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give the bow a name. Now, this is not exactly essential, but I think it's nice for the item. So in order to do that, we're going to do a display tag. Okay, so a display tag. And then what we then do is we then do name colon and then some double quotes like that. We then put inside here two quotes like so and some curly brackets like that. And then what we then have to do is we have to provide a text tag. So how we do that is we do, we do it like this. So it's uh, backslash quote text backslash quote and then colon and then the same thing again. So backslash quote, backslash quote, like so, okay? So in between these two bits here is where we're going to put the name. So I'm going to put Draki TNT bow like that. So that's what we're naming the item. And we're going to set it as an impulse uh, command block. And we're going to put a button on it so that we can actually give the bow that we want. So if I do this now, you can see that it has now given me an item called Draki TNT bow. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to write the logic for the, the actual TNT bow itself. So we need two command blocks for this. Now the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to make it a repeat command block and always active. And then this one is going to be a chain command block and always active like so. So the first command block, so we've already got the bow. So what we now need to do is we need to check uh, this command block needs to continuously check if there's any arrows in the ground with a damage value of 52. So I can actually kind of show you this, that it is actually damage value 52. If I put an arrow in the ground here, and if I, what I can actually do is I can do data get entity and then at E type equals arrow. Minecraft colon arrow and then limit one like that. Okay. If I do that, it's going to grab that arrow that I just shot into the ground. Okay. And as you can see with all these data tags here, there's one here at the top that says damage and then 52.0D. So that is what we're going to use in order to, to actually pick up these arrows. So we need to find any arrows in the ground that have damage value 52. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're going to do execute at E. So at E means all entities, but we're going to say type 
equals and then minecraft colon arrow so we're only checking arrows in this case and then what we then need to do is we then we then need to do nbt equals and then we're going to be providing some tags for it to check as well so what we're going to get them to check is in ground and then one b so that means in the ground and is it true so is it in the ground or not and then the next one is damage and then we're going to do 52.0d like that so we're checking a damaged value of 52 and if it's in the ground and that's basically it we're targeting the correct arrows now and then we do run and then we are going to run summon and then minecraft colon tnt and then tilde 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 okay so what that's doing is it's summoning a tnt explosion at the location of the arrow that is what these three tilde characters mean it just means um at the at the location of the arrow since we're actually running the command at the arrow in question so that will spawn the TNT. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the arrows are removed as well, just for completeness sake. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up this command block so that it removes the arrows so that they're no longer there anymore. So that is what we're going to do. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to do execute at at E, so again, all entities, but we're going to be targeting the TNT explosions this time. And there is a reason for that in just a moment here. Um, so we're going to do execute at E, and we are going to run at all TNT explosions, run, and then we're going to run kill at E, and then type equals, um minecraft colon arrow like that and then what we want to do is we want to only target arrows with the damage value so in order to do that we then do nbt equals and we're going to do the following so we're going to do damage 52 od like that and then what we're going to do is we only want it to target arrows that are nearby the explosion. So how I actually do that is I do dx2, dy2, and dz2. That usually works pretty good. And um, basically that's creating a two by two box around the explosion. And it's going to be checking if there's any arrows in that location. And if there is, it's going to delete them. So that's about it. That should be it running. And because we've made these always active right here, it should work. So this is the normal bow, which does nothing. And then this one is our TNT bow. And as you will see, it works. And it gets rid of the arrow and does the explosion. All right, everyone, that's it for this TNT arrow or TNT bow command block tutorial video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and you actually enjoyed it and you can create a right massacre in your Minecraft world with one of these TNT bows. Obviously, it's only available if you have access to command blocks and commands, but it is a fun thing to do nevertheless. But if you did enjoy this video and learn something new, then a like on the video would be very much appreciated. And if you want to follow my Twitter, my Twitter is in the description, or you can use the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Draki Series on Twitter. And if you want to see more Minecraft content like this, or Minecraft Seed Showcases, Minecraft Redstone, all kinds of different content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can actually keep up to date. Click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. And I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal. So if you could help me achieve that, then that'd be absolutely amazing. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully you have a nice day and have fun with these TNT bows. See you next time.